I'm gonna document this, Grandpa. All right, present day me here to intro this vlog since I thought it was gonna be one big vlog, but then I thought it was better as two separate thoughts. This one is special because it's with my grandpa and we're upcycling a seat cushion for Sean Wotherspoon. Um, Honestly, the project didn't get fully finished because after we did the cushion, after we did the cushion, we were gonna make like a bench, but then things got busy. So maybe I'll revisit that later. Enjoy me learning how to use my grandpa's industrial sewing machine. It's really fun. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and yeah, more upcycling stuff coming soon. So enjoy the rest of the vlog. See ya. Yeah, see, this this is see how long these needles are? Mm-hmm. So, so these are regular needles for regular sewing machines. And the longer ones are for the industrial? Yeah. See, and I've got different sizes, a whole bunch of different sizes. Oh, it's interesting. How old is this machine? Oh, uh... It's got to be over 50, 60 years old. Yeah. Does it matter which way? Yeah, it does. And now I, I'm not even sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Mm, I see. So, and then the, the secret is to oh. turn this. See, there's this thing here. Yeah. That little thing. It, it, oh. It, it's got to go under that. Like that. Probably should have oiled it before I did that, but it's not right. When's the last time you used it? Uh, probably uh, about two, three weeks ago. Oh. I guess my home machine is from the front, but yeah. then the. The industrial, the industrial is from the side. the side. Yeah. And then this one is... On the side, so... It goes left to right? Yeah, left to right. Yeah. And the way you tell is... It, you put the needle in and tighten it a certain way, right? Mm-hmm. And then the needle where, where you thread it from, one side has got a little guide on it. Yeah, you see like the notch. Yeah, there's a, no, there's a groove. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that, that groove is where the side that you put the needle, put the, the thread, thread through. through. Yeah, so you, 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 you know that already, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I know some of the basics. We're, we're getting there with these industrial machines. I mean, I've been trying to sew every week, so hopefully it starts becoming second nature now. The stitch length, you can see it here, right, right through here. Actually, mm -hmm. Let's see if I can. Uh, oh, yeah. There's numbers. There's numbers there. Uh, that that tells you how many, and you can. You how can, many per what though? Uh, how many per inch? Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I, I was about I, to say there's 24 per inch. That's a lot. Uh, this is a cinch. When when you push this button down, yeah, you can feel it. What is set at right here? What what is that number right now? Twelve. Twelve. So sometimes on the industrial, like when I'm doing upholstery, uh, I might do a seven or or, or a ten or something like mm -hmm. that. But a twelve, we can do it with this. So, okay. So you you push this button down. You you hold it down. There, you can turn it to whatever you want. Yeah. And so right now, sit at twelve, which is fine with, with what we're doing. Okay. So do you want to do it? Grandpa yeah. doesn't do back stitches on upholstery. Uh, <laughs> I like doing. I like back. Well, it's because I like doing the zigzaggy design of it. So it's uh, more of a aesthetic you, you, reason you why I do it. Back. All right. Always cut a little test strip. So that you, you could uh, get a feel for what what you're selling. Yeah. 
chain, you gotta hold the thread when you start. Okay. Okay. So, so just keep everything tight yeah. and then. So why don't, why don't we just do something like this? I'm, I'm gonna just put it down here and then you're gonna have to hold the thread so you, so you get a feel for what's happening. So you don't even need to put it back or anything? It's, you hold it like this? You just hold it like that. Oh. Just, just, just keep your finger down like that. So it's that different side. than, that's the difference. You can feel the pressure. You don't, you don't have to worry about, about your finger here. Just, 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 just that? Yeah, okay. like that. Yeah. Oh. And then still hold it, or no? You can, you, you can, you just, after you start it, you don't have to hold the thread anymore. If you, the first thing. Oh. Whoa. Okay, let's, let's turn that around. Put it, okay, how yeah. do you lift it up? In the back, yeah. Oh, so it's the same, that's the same then. Yeah, lift that up, and then we'll turn around and, uh. and sew it again. Is it, is, what do you think about the stitch? Is it too, too much, too little, or? I mean, I don't, I kind of like it when it's tighter, but okay. that's the, that's for me personally, I guess. Okay, how do I want to, maybe I'll just go like. Okay, wait, so this is how you backstitch? Yeah, I just, it. I just want to try, try it. it. Cause my, well, cause my like thing that I do is like, I do that, like yeah. the repair thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I just wanted to see what it. Yeah. Yeah, I never, I, I never use it. Never. So then you put a little bit of pressure. Yeah. Turn it, pull it this way. Yeah. And then it's kind of tight. Oh, you just pull it. Yeah. yeah. It should be easy to pull. Just be, 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 be. Okay, there we go. Pull it a little more because you want it about like that. Because oh, otherwise, when you want to start it again. You, when yeah. you start it, you don't want to lose the, the re-thread is the thing. More. That's fine, right there. Okay. Okay, you. Yeah. Let me see what it looks like. <laughs> Wait, your inspector, you just said it's okay? Yeah. What would you rate it? It's, it's, it's 90. <laughs> 90%. I got an A minus for my first stitch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, when you get to here, you're going to have to hold it down so that it'll it just, it just will, okay. I don't think it's going to go quite high anymore. Yeah. Got to force it a little bit. Yeah, wow, that is so much easier than the other machine. Oh, what was that? Oh, oh something feels funny. Something feels funny? Or, yeah, just, you try it for a second. Yeah, like, I don't know if it got stuck or, um... oh, oh, I think it, oh, no, it works. Oh, wow. I don't know where you, you this is the line, huh? Yeah, but it's okay. You can go. It's okay because of the button. It might be yeah. hard. So sometimes you just have to kind of like push it through, and yeah. it's like okay. Yeah, it, 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 it was okay. It was okay. Okay. All right. This is gonna be the fun part. Good enough. Yep. Yeah. Right on it. Right. Oh, I'm used to the other machine where you like you do the back. You do the pedal backwards oh. and it like lifts it. Oh. Yeah. But, so I think that's. No, I've never seen one of those. Yeah, it's like you. It, I feel like it makes me go really fast because you're like, you can just. Yeah. You just sew with your hands and then you do all the needle work with your foot, which is like. Mm -hmm. I hear one something. That, I've never used but but normally it's something like this instead of. Uh, Stepping on the pedal, I think. I, I'm not oh, even, for sewing. Yeah, what, 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 we could we'll try, try it. it in a minute. <laughs> okay. See, this is where it gets a little. Uh, it's like that's where it puckered last time, and like because of like how much. Um, like, see, it's like pulling yeah. a little bit, so it's like I don't know what I need to do. So it like. What's that? You wanna. See the like you can tell right. It's just it's very small compared to what it, how bad I did it the first time, but mm. yeah. Like, see how it's just puckering a little bit, but I don't yeah. know if that's just because of the well, combination of everything. It'll, it'll just happen. Yeah, yeah, I don't think there's much you can do about it. Okay. I mean... I'm just gonna go back up to the shoulder. There we go. I mean, I guess I could just make a U-turn now. 
Who will you want to go? Maybe I'll go this way to do the, oh wait, the needle. To do the call, the collar. Oh, that's what I did. Cause that was the other part that I was just having a hard time with. This part. Oh yeah. Cause I didn't. What, what I didn't. What do you mean they do? Go there and then go up like yeah, that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Cause like I, I like on that other machine, I was just like, there's no way it's gonna. I mean, it could, but I, I just think this is the move. This can handle it. Do you just have to like push it? I don't know, because there's so much right there. Uh, you you want to go up this way? Or, or, or yeah, I just want to go like, like you know, like, but maybe it'll work. I just have to turn it, you know, because it's just, yeah. there's just too much right there. Yeah, yeah so do the... Turn it. Oh, oh hard turn it. Well, you got to take oh, the needle down. that's why. Yeah, okay. Oh, nice. to get all this out. Why is this not the, they sold? No, no, I think this was ripped off. This top part was, see, yeah, so but, this is. But this is sewn on to, to, to this. I know. Yeah, I don't know how, what do you, what I was gonna ask you about, like what, what Maybe do they. We, we ought to just leave this in there like this. Yeah? I, I don't know, this is different. Well, normally, nah, let's take it off. <laughs> Well, cause what? Oh, it's some kind of glue, and they will glue this right down. To, but this is fine. They they skipped a step and said to just staple it. But I guess this is good, cause if I wanted to, it's like I could take this part and make a pattern out of it. But it's only one chair, so I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're unstapling this and tightening the bottom, and then gonna put the new cover on. You got two boxes of staples. I don't know what you're gonna do with it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a whole set of chairs that I might do. I have four, a four-piece set that maybe I'll bring. Okay, let, let me just give you an idea. We'll put one of these in here and plug it in and shoot it. All right, today's Tuesday, so it's the next day. Me working with my grandpa. I'm about to go back over and we're gonna like staple everything back together right now. So hopefully it'll be done and then I can take it back to LA to give to Sean. And then we can screw the cushion back on. I'm gonna go finish the cushion right now and then get a haircut. Then tomorrow I'll be heading back to LA. So it's kind of what's happening right now. But yeah, I'm at my dad's, going to my grandparents finishing it tomorrow heading back to LA because it's gonna snow on the grapevine so I gotta get back and um yeah I did my makeup forgot my eyebrow stuff but it's kind of giving like this 2000s vibe okay there's really bad lighting but you'll get a better view in a little bit okay so we removed the original cover and now we're gonna cut a new piece and replace it. Remove it. See, man, I'm going to spray a little bit here so that. This thing will stay fixed. Then we'll staple everything on top. Yeah. I'll keep that. Yeah. That whole thing.
Oh, yeah. Well, I'm just trying to see which is the best. In tight here. On the corners. Yep, now we know how to do it. Fun. I mean, it looks good. Yeah. We're done. We have scraps. Got the cushion in the back. I'm borrowing my dad's car. I'm about to go get my hair cut. And then it is literally snowing on the grapevine. So I think I'm literally gonna head back to LA after this, which kind of sucks. It's gonna be a long day. Six hour drive after working on all that but i really don't want to get stuck so i gotta beat the snow so we gotta go back tonight and then then i guess i got a whole day in la tomorrow that i just didn't expect so i guess it's an unexpected sleigh that i get back early i'll get my hair done and i think i'll end the vlog there for now i don't know i mean i know i still have to do the bottom so i guess i gotta figure out how i'm breaking up this video because i think it's getting pretty long or maybe this is just gonna be one long long -a dong one i don't even know what's happening but i'm about to get my hair cut and i'll check back in a little bit new hair i'm just waiting for my dad to come home so i could say bye Gotta drive six hours, probably gonna get back super late tonight. I do think this is where I wanna end the vlog. And then maybe I'll just pick back up when I finish the cushion when I'm back in LA, probably on Friday in a couple of days. I'll get back and settled in LA and then yeah, we'll be, we'll be back. So thanks for tuning in. If you watch the whole video, please subscribe. It would really help me out, especially cause I'm coming back to YouTube after a long hiatus. Follow me on Instagram at nostalgic.threads and on Depop at nostalgic underscore threads. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.